Hello and welcome to Benocam. We are back mining again today. We're having a little look at Levant, which is right down near Land's End, near St Just. And it's an interesting mine, it's got quite a sad story. This is where a bad disaster happened. So in the early 1900s, there was a really bad accident here involving the beam engine. And a load of people died, unfortunately, in the shaft. And today we're going to have a little look to see if we can get in any part of it. I think it's pretty well sealed up, but there may be an old adit right down the bottom which we can get into some of the workings. So we're going to go and have a look at that now and we'll show you how we get on. Levant Mine was first worked around 1748 and by 1820 the Levant Mining Company was formed, employing over 300 men, 44 women and 186 children. The mine was set up right on the cliff's edge, with many of the workings extending deep down below the water table and also over a mile out under the sea. Miners who worked here would originally have climbed down the exposed cliff paths to access the adits, which had been driven in just above the high tide mark. This was both a time consuming and dangerous task to start and end the day to be able to get to work. In 1857 a man engine was introduced, which was essentially a steam engine powering a series of slow moving wooden rods with platforms which enabled miners to be carried up and down relatively quickly, saving both time and energy. This is the site and remains of the man engine shaft. On the 20th of October 1919, this man engine would be the cause of one of Cornwall's worst mining disasters. The day shift had just finished, with the men riding on their way to the surface, when the link that connected the top of the rod to the man engine suddenly failed. The rod broke away, plummeting to the bottom of the shaft and taking with it the miners and platforms, all falling to a depth of 1,596 feet. It took three days to complete the rescue, with many men recovered injured who had been trapped in the shaft and 31 men dead. The mine continued to work, although never really recovered, and finally closed for good shortly after the 1980s tin price crash. The site is now cared for by the National Trust, who have preserved several of the buildings and restored the WIM engine, which is fully functional and now open on some days for guided tours. Okay, so this is the old miners' path. You can just about see some of the old steps here as well. And this is the old path that they would have used to access the deep adit which we're just going to have a little look at now to see if there's anything still open. Have to be very careful here because there is a massive drop right there. And all these steps are always nice and slippery. Okay, so we made it. This is one of the old ways that they used to be able to gain access in an emergency if all else failed. Could always climb out of here and go up the cliff path. <laughs> Look at that chain. That is some old chain. Now I have been rather reliably informed that this doesn't actually go. This does eventually go to a collapse. But we have got another at it just a little bit further along the cliffs which we can access which goes into North Levant workings. Okay, it's also worth pointing out here that this, this adit is directly underneath the National Trust restored buildings. So they're not going to be too impressed if people come exploring down here very often. So I would advise against coming in this one. And we're going to go back up our dodgy path now and we're going to show you further along the coast where we can access some of the North Levant workings. The North Levant section of the mine is located between the main Levant site and the nearby mine of Giver. The mine plans show a maze of tightly packed workings with connecting adits, and it may even be possible to walk back towards the main Levant site. Many of the tunnels all look the same, making it easy to get lost and not be able to find the single adit that leads back out to the cliffs. Water. <laughs> it's 
So we've managed to get into the Adit drainage system. Go Eric with me, he's looking very well prepared. <laughs> very summary. <laughs> and yeah, we've got into the deep Adit system. We're hoping that this will connect through to the North Levant workings. So we're just gonna have to push these tunnels now and see if we can find a way through underground. Oh, another little junction. Look at that, look. So there's some copper leaching out of the rock there. And you can see where they chased it right up. You can see some little drill holes there. Bit of a seam going up through. And there was even a little pocket there at one point that they've chased. Interesting. You can see all the drill holes there as well. Hmm. You alright down there, Eric? Yeah, loving it, mate. Yeah. yeah. So the tunnels here aren't too bad in size. I kind of almost stand up here, which makes it an awful lot easier for exploring. Loads of timbers all stacked up here. More timbers. Oh, look at this. Ah, so this is the dam. This is the North Levant workings. And it has been very well sealed up. Look at that. Ah. So unfortunately this is the end of the attic which goes into the North Levant workings so we're not going to be able to get there I'm afraid. But there are some other older workings here which we're going to have a look at which are all connected to the mine. But this was the way we wanted to go which is a bit of a shame. Here we are. Oh, unfortunately the only way onwards is through crawling up through here which is a little bit hard going not the nicest how are you getting on back there Eric? yeah i'm all right mate. yeah lovely yeah yeah, yeah really nice yeah. oh yeah it does go <laughs> would you like to push it a bit sometimes i think this is one of those moments where you start to ask yourself what you're doing here why aren't you home doing something nice and warm and safe? Why aren't we home, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. You ain't got an answer. I haven't got an answer for that. No one's got an answer. Could have had a roast dinner, is not it? Oh, we could have had a roast dinner. Instead of that, you're stuck in a mine with me. Right. So we're getting somewhere now. You can see a load of old reinforcing up above us. Really? <laughs> Look at the state of you. I bet you wish you had the overalls on now. Oh, bugger them, it's too hot for mate. Shit. Alright, we're getting somewhere now. Oh my goodness. The state of that timber. No, let's not look at the timber. No, no cool touch. Looks like this. Nice little bridge of iron pipes. Don't fall in, you'll be swimming. Why not? <laughs> Little branch. Yeah. Oh, bit of colour here now, a bit of yellows. Rust stains. Finally, it's getting a bit taller. Oh, an old ladder here. Oh, there's some stoping going up there. Look at that old ladder. Yeah. Oh, cool old. Maybe an old wheelbarrow wheel. Look at that. It's a beauty. Yeah, that is. Ah. Another little branch. Pretty sure we have to keep going straight. Oh, and another one. Bit of echo. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, look. Go so crossways. So you got a right, a straight on, and a left. <laughs> look what you've just gone underneath. A load of rotten timber with holding up loads and loads of rocks. Look at that. Look. Oh, I think we're gonna hang around here. <laughs> oh, it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. We gotta go under this now. How dodgy is this? <laughs> There's a winch shaft here with pump gear in it. Oh my goodness. Just goes down and down. We gotta walk we gotta walk over this now. <laughs> At least it's made of steel. Steel's always a little bit nicer to walk over than wood. But there's a big drop down there. Oh. Luckily we're across. A wheelbarrow wheel maybe. <laughs> but you can feel there's a lot of fresh air here. I'm pretty sure this goes to the surface. Jesus, look at those lines. Wow, look at that. Jesus. <laughs> Why did they weigh it in? So when this mine shut, I'm guessing they just decided to throw all the metal work they didn't need anymore down the shaft, which is now completely and utterly filled the bottom of the shaft up. Ladders, most of this stuff is all cart track. But yeah, it's an interesting sight. You don't see, you don't see things like this very often. What are you saying, Eric? Yeah, pretty impressive. Beauty, isn't it? Some ladders up there, mate. <laughs> Fancy climbing that ladder? Not that one. No, me neither. Right, so this is about as far as we're going to go today. You can actually go a little bit further. You can actually crawl through this pile here. There is another little section you can go and visit, but um, I think we've had enough today. We're really deep underground here. We're, I don't know how far inland we are. We'll have a look on the chart later on, but. Uh, we're a long way underground here, so that's it for now. We got to this shaft, which I think is weathered shaft, but we're going to have to check that. But this is the one which is all full of all this scrap iron. And we're going to make our way all the way back now, which is a long way. So we better get going or it's going to be the middle of the night time we get out. Yeah. How you feeling, Eric? Yeah, loving it. Good, isn't it? Yes, yeah, impressive. Oh, Idea. Worth the trip. Well, that looks lovely, that does. <laughs> Here he comes. It's nice and tight, isn't it, mate? It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing here? Yeah. It's definitely know. time to go home, isn't it? Yes. We carefully retrace our steps back out of the maze of old workings and back towards our original entry point. That looks lovely. That looks so nice, Eric. It's all right, though. <laughs> Sometimes when the water's a bit cold, you're better off in it and you're out with something. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I've often said that. I like it. I don't mind. It's fine. So I would say this trip is probably Second rivaling uh, Barn Coos Addit. I don't know if you've seen the Barn Coos Addit video. That is just a horrible, horrible trip. And this is probably second in terms of just general horribleness. This is a hard trip. It's not very nice. But there's some really interesting stuff up the end of it, which we've now shown you in this video. So we probably won't ever go there again, but at least everyone can see it and there's a record of it. It's interesting and I'm glad we did it. So I'm going to head back out now. Did you enjoy that, Eric? Oh, I did, mate. It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. I know it's a bit of a tough trip, but it's... Uh, Definitely worth doing. It's worth doing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A lot of nice things to see. Yeah, I know. hope everyone enjoyed watching that. Cool. Cheers for... Cheers for watching. Cheers for Eric coming along with me. No That's good. Good little trip. I'm going to make our way back up now. On to the next. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I've got some more good mine adventures coming up soon. And we will catch you again soon for more mine videos.